while the 288 force was slugging it out over Allegheny Summit. Along came the Chessie again with something that made the marvelous EM-1 something of an underdog. And it wasn't even a Yellowstone, just a 2666. But what a locomotive. Probably the most powerful ever built. Fully loaded, engine and tender weight more than a million pounds. The enormous firebox and boiler could generate more steam than any engine before or since. There was a six-wheel truck beneath the firebox and an unusual combination of six- and eight-wheeled trucks under the tender. Their total weight equaled that of the Union Pacific 4884 Big Boys. The Virginians' monster 21010-2s sound as if they ought to be bigger. Actually, they had larger boilers, but their wheels were only 56 inches in diameter, 11 inches less than the Chessie 2666. until after these huge locomotives had been displaced by diesels on their regular run, Clifton Forge to Russell, Kentucky, the main line across the Allegheny Mountains, that the CNO realized what an extraordinary locomotive they had on their hands. Slow slogging over mountain grades left a large amount of their power unused. It wasn't until they were unleashed on the relative flat of central Ohio that the CNO finally saw it had a high-speed freight locomotive on its hands. Some have compared a single 2666 to six FT units for speed and power. Between 1941 and 1948, the CNO ordered 60 of them, the last articulated locomotives built by Lima. 1604, which we see in this tape, has been preserved. 